Hello everybody, this is Jeff at eTrailer.com. Today we're going to take a look at this Dexter 12 inch by 2 inch right hand passenger side never adjust electric trailer brake assembly for 7,000 pound axles. Now electric brakes are easier to install. They offer more user control than hydraulic brakes. Basically they'll require just an electric brake controller which we do sell separately on our website. There's no need for a brake actuator or any hydraulic lines. And also what's nice is these brake shoes are lined with an automotive grade friction material and that friction material is fully bonded to the shoe. It's not riveted. Gives you a lot longer life, more braking torque. And this is a never adjust brake which will automatically adjust to deliver optimum performance and braking power. And the way you can tell it's a never adjust or a self adjusting brake is you always see this cable that will run down here around the wheel and it's hooked to this lever that auto automatically adjusts the adjustment wheel to automatically adjust your brakes. So there's no need for manual brake adjustments. Basically all you have to do is when you initially install this do your initial brake adjustment and then from then on as you drive it will automatically adjust. And of course proper adjustment will lead to better brake efficiency and less wear on your tow vehicle's brakes. Also wanted to show you on the back side at the bottom <clears throat> There's two holes down here, and these are adjustment holes. This is where you put your brake adjustment tool through to adjust your brakes. Normally those holes are left open. If you notice here, they've actually put plugs in there to cover those access holes. Helps keep dirt and grime out of the assemblies and off the shoes. Also, you need to notice the five holes here. This is the brake mounting flange bolt pattern. It is a five bolt design. And you can see it does include the mounting hardware, which are these nuts with the attached lock washers. So basically, when you go to install this on your axle, you'll have a brake mounting flange with five studs sticking out. It'll line up to this bolt pattern, slide it on, and then use your nuts to tighten it down and secure it to the axle. Now, this part is made in the USA. Specs on it, this is application is most standard hub and drum assemblies, including Dexter, Lippert, and Alco. It does fit axles that are rated at 7,000 pounds. Now this one is a right hand brake assembly, which is the passenger side assembly. And you might want, uh, wonder how you determine what side that the brake assembly fits on. Of course on a new one it'll have a sticker that'll tell you what side. But if that sticker wasn't there, easiest way to tell is look at the length of the pad on the shoes. This pad goes from here all the way down here. On this pad it goes from here all the way to here. So this is a shorter pad. The shorter pad is your primary shoe. That'll always face the front of the trailer. So that'll tell you that this will go on the right hand passenger side assembly of the trailer. Also this is called a 12 inch by 2 inch brake assembly and what those measurements mean. The 12 inch is the diameter and that's measured from this shoe all the way over to that shoe. So there's your 12 inch measurement and the 2 inch is the width of the brake pad on the shoe. So on this one you can see is 2 inches. So it's a 12 inch by 2 inch brake assembly. It does require 12 inch brake drums and the wheel size that will fit on this is 14 and a half inch up to 16 and a half inch size wheels. Last thing to show you is on the back here you notice the two black wires coming through. These are electric brakes so they do need to be connected. One goes to a brake feed, the other goes to the ground. And they're both black wire, so either wire can be used for either function. <clears throat> but that should do it for the review on the Dexter 12 inch by 2 inch right hand passenger side never adjust electric trailer brake assembly for 7,000 pound axle.